Hi there, this is Gavin Manford here from Social MLM Secrets. Now I'm just going to do a Facebook profile critique of Sue Johnson. She's asked me to look at her profile to see what what needs changing, what she can do better. So let's just have a look. Now in this little box here, um, Sue's written something here which is absolutely fine. Um, I normally put a link to my website here or just write something personal that um, that catches people's attention. If you have a quick look at mine, I've got um, a short excerpt here with a link to my website. So always make sure there's something written in this little box. And again, if we go back to mine, you'll see a pencil icon, which you can click on to edit that. So if we scroll down, Sue's got her website here, which is absolutely fine. And again, also always make sure you've got HTTP colon forward slash forward slash before it which then makes that link clickable. If you don't have that, then you won't, no one will be able to click on that. Okay, down to the mutual friends section. Now what I've done in, in, um, in the next section, in the friends section, and again, if we go over to mine, Sue, this is something that I think you can do. Um, go through, if you click on this little pencil icon next to your friends, um, you can see here I've got nine top friends and these people are all well-known people within the industry that I want to be associated with. So if you click on this pencil icon, if you make sure you're friends with um, some of the leaders within the industry already, you can type the person's name into this box here and it will automatically show that person. Now if you don't do this, if you don't define the people to have um, appear here, it will just randomly change every single time that you um, or somebody refreshes the page. Now this is a subtle way to say that you're associated with some top people in the industry. Okay, I'm now in your info tab, Sue. Now just having a look through this, there's a lot of information that you need to add. Now at the moment you're in, in a network, your relationship status, um, you've got your personal contact details, your website, which is absolutely fine. Now one thing you don't have, or quite a few things you don't have, you don't have any of your hobbies, any of your, let's just have a look at mine again, um, activities, interests, favourite music, favourite TV shows, etc, etc. And also there's this um, about me section. Now you need to think about who you're targeting in your business, what kind of people. Why are people going to choose you over somebody else? And you need to shine as an individual. Now, if you can come up with your activities, your interests, um, and, and various aspects of your personality that shine through to make you who you are, you need to add as many of these things as you can. Now, these are all searchable, so it means if somebody searches for internet marketing or network marketing, then your profile may potentially come up. Now, if somebody searches for um, network marketing within your local area, then you will sh will come up as long as you've got those keywords in your profile. Now make sure you use this about me section because people want to know who you are. If they come to your profile and there's no information here, then they're not. They're just going to switch off. They're not going to be interested in what you've got to say because you're not willing to share anything with them. So make sure you fill this section out. Keep your contact details there. Any websites you've got, if you've got a blog of your own, your own website for your own company, add it there. I mean, ideally, you should have a blog so you can update your content. Now, it, it totally depends on how much time people have got as to whether they can do that, but that may be something that you want to um, think about. And then you've got your group, you've got your groups here, which is absolutely fine, and any pages here that you've uh, you've got. What you might want to do is choose a memorable web address. Mine is um, it's, it's profile.to forward slash Gavin Mountford. So yours would be um, profile.to forward slash Sue Johnson. And that will help if, if you want to give that link out to other people they'll be able to find you a lot easier and a lot quicker on Facebook than if they have to go through your profile your your full profile link like this at the top at the top which is got all the, all the numbers etc in i think it's definitely worth doing some videos and just experimenting with some videos um, of you talking to the camera and again 
you're addressing the network marketing related audience. You also want to have your personality shine through so you can do personal videos and business related videos but try and combine the two and exactly the same with your photos just make sure you're adding photos of you which you've done here which again shows your personality which is absolutely perfect and then you've got your boxes tab now again have a think about who's going to be coming over to your profile and why are they coming to your profile and how are you going to target that audience now if you've got a lot of silly things in your um, profile or in your boxes tab then people may be put off so it's good having some of these things um, but just think about the person that you're targeting and what do they think about what you've got on your wall yes yeah, it's, it's an overall impression that you want to give it's subtle it, there's only these small little changes so by adding your top friends um, adding some boxes tabs putting some videos up it all adds credibility to you if you've got a blog it'll add credibility to you if you've got your videos and photos up make sure in your wall tab make sure you're active and it looks like you're you're doing certain things in here because people will come over to this section and they'll have a look through to see what you're up to comment on people's status updates comment on their videos which you've done in some of these I've seen already um, and when you join groups if you share links with people people will then come back again and they'll they'll come back to you because you, you've been able to share some valuable information with them um, so the more activity you can do on here change your status update on a daily basis and again if you're on Twitter you can auto update your status update um, and I'm going to be doing a few videos about that very very soon so be active comment on people's statuses think about why that person wants to be in your business and what, what can you offer that person and try and portray that on your profile now if you've got any questions about anything I've talked about here and um, just get back to me but there's Gavin Manford here from social MLM secrets um, just profile critiquing, critiquing Sue Johnson's Facebook profile and I'll catch you soon bye bye